This is the video for December 15th, 2016, and the title is a question. Can Trump muster an army of angels? The attacks on Donald Trump and his election in, as U.S. Inc. president is astounding to me. I do not think it has any precedence in history. Personally, I have read, listened to many perspectives, pro and con, in relation to his win. As I see it, the establishment is showing signs of fear, even terror. They are waging war against him. <laughs> Incredible. I cannot help but wonder how or if he will be protected, knowing that there are many insiders who could easily turn on him. Will God provide protection? I, for one, would applaud divine intervention. Frankly, I do not see how mankind can ever be liberated without it. Indeed, uh, I'm starting this video over an hour earlier than the one that I started did yesterday. And I just finished listening to a half hour video uh, that was posted on my Facebook wall from the previous video. And this video that I watched was, or yeah, I actually watched her, was Karen Hudas. And Karen Hudas, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, is an attorney in Washington, D.C., and claims to be the representative of the World Debt Facility. Uh, I made a video with her some years ago, and it had the most views of any of the videos that I ever that I ever made. I think it had over fifty thousand views. Um, in any case, I do not think she is credible. In my that's my opinion. Now that doesn't mean that everything she says is wrong, but I don't think she and the global debt facility has the power to uh, to do what she says. Now, one of the things that she said is that that the corporation is bankrupt, which is true, the corporation being the United States, Inc. That is bankrupt. They have been printing money out of thin air, backed by nothing for a long time, for since, since Nixon. And uh, that's when it was backed by silver, which was the last actual commodity of value that, that backed the paper money that's been, been being printed. We're talking about the 1960s, uh, most, of my most of my life, um, all of my adult life, they've been printing fake money. In any case, uh, the question of what's going to happen with Donald Trump is an unknown to me and probably to most people. I, you know, if anybody really knows, uh, I wonder where they're getting their information from. Are they an insider that's trying to make it happen? There are certainly a lot of those in what we called the U.S. government uh, that want to continue the charade and the lies and the fraud that they've been doing for a very, very long time. I mean, not just the current generation, but going back generations in the same family lines in many cases. Well, probably in all cases, they claim to be the elite establishment. They claim to be the ones that were born to rule. And I don't know if Trump is part of that elite establishment or not. Uh, if he's part of the bloodline or not, he, he might be, he might not be. I simply don't know if anybody can uh, give definitive uh, information about that. I'd be interested in seeing it. In any case, as most people in the United States believe, he won the election. Well, I say most people, certainly those that are re Republicans and, and grassroots people, and people that aren't totally brainwashed by the deception of the previous uh, of the previous administrations, plural, Republican and Democrat, and the cabalistic 
system that has been in place all of our lives. There's a, many brainwashed people that, of course, supported Hillary, and they had a, a fix in on the election, and it didn't work out the way they wanted because the number of people voting for Trump was much greater than they anticipated. Therefore, the vote was, uh, uh, instead of it being close and with Hillary winning, it became uh, much, uh, much different with Trump winning. And everything is, everybody and everything is confused and up in arms on one side or the other. I mean, I've watched people say that, that Trump is God's man and, and this was uh, God's plan all along. And, and there's others that, that just as vehemently say that, that their spiritual teachers and their information from their spiritual guides say that, uh, that Trump should step down, that he's not the person that, that's been put in place by God. And there's all this bickering back and forth, back and forth. Uh, and I wonder, as I said in the, the title of the video, will there be an army of angels uh, that come in to rescue Trump? Now, <laughs> quite honestly, what needs to be rescued is humanity. We are the ones that have been hoodwinked. We've had our natural rights stolen from us by, by deception and outright theft, even stealing those that are awake enough to realize that it's a deception. They're often killed or imprisoned or in some way or another incapacitated so that they, their voice is, is diminished, as my voice has been diminished uh, on the internet. Uh, it's, it's crazy, but I've watched it happen. And some of that has to do with, uh, with the health challenges that I had last year and trying to protect myself from uh, critics where I had to end up blocking a whole bunch of people, uh, a whole group of people centered out of Hong Kong, believe it or not, but international nevertheless. Anyway. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this whole scenario plays out. Uh, I still look for the kingdom of heaven on earth. How that's going to become manifest is anybody's guess, I guess. Uh, it's certainly not something that I know for sure. I used to know for sure that it was going to happen. I'm not even sure it's going to happen anymore. I'm not even sure that God is real. I'd like God to be real. I'd like the promises to be kept. I'd like the kingdom of heaven on earth to be manifested. And uh, I'd like people's natural rights to be restored, not just in the United States, but all over the world. I'd like to see a spiritual awakening. I'd like to see truth uh, brought and put on a pedestal where everybody can look at it and we can know the truth and actually become free. What a concept. Uh, I'd like that to happen. Will it happen in my lifetime? I don't know. I mean, I honestly believed it was going to happen long before this, and I'm quite disappointed that it has not occurred at this point in time. Uh, but if Trump is going to survive and actually accomplish anything, I do think he's going to need some divine intervention. But as I said, Humanity is what really needs the divine intervention because the system itself, the entire economic system is built on uh, a house of cards that needs to collapse and needs to come down. And I don't think that uh, all these gold and platinum and silver reserves that Karen Hood has mentioned in her video uh, are going to be able to be manifested to the benefit of humanity unless there's some dramatic spiritual and political changes. And of course, those are economic changes as well that need to happen in order for the truth to win and for humanity to be liberated from the bondage of all the lies that we've been told our entire lives. Thank you for listening and considering the things that I'm saying. Namaste.